Okay, media maker here. Um, it's winter season, a lot of us have these ceramic heaters. Uh, they usually are a little box one or it's a tall one. And a lot of times people, well, some people get new ones every year because they quit putting out. Put your hand out here. You don't hardly feel any air. You have to put it here. It's real hot here, but not warm out here. It's because it's getting clogged up. So playing around with these, taking things apart that broke. Figured out that uh, if you take these apart, the ceramic element is usually clogged up on the back side. So all you have to do is clean it. You don't need to go buy a new one. Uh, this particular one, I don't know if you can make it out, has security screws. And security screws just are just for that, to keep you out. But uh, if you want to do your own, you probably aren't going to take it in any place to have it cleaned up or anything like that. So you probably just go buy a new one for $29.99 or whatever. So if you want to take it apart, basically, what you have to do, yeah, you know, let's see, use this one. Use your security screw. It's got a hole in it, and it just fits right in here. And take it out, nice and neat, if you can. Use the other one. one's not magnetic so it doesn't hold it which can be tedious Almost there. Okay. In this particular one, it had a little seal sticker. You'll have to cut it. And that just lets them know. Okay, they were in the heater. Avoid the warranty. Yeah, let's get this out. Let's card this on the side. And what you have is your fan blower. If you can see it. It's kind of like what's on a furnace. Most of them have regular old fan blades. And this one, if you take a look at it, it's got four screws that hold it. And two on this side, two on the back side, and this one little special screw with a sensor switch, basically for your thermostat. You want to take him out and loosen him up. Because he's going to keep you from getting stuff out later. So when these screws come off, that'll come right off. These four screws off. Okay. Two more on this side. Last one, flip her back up. And basically, that's all it does. There's your element. Now the front side doesn't get dirty. The inside gets dirty where the blower is, the side facing the blower. I've already cleaned this one, and all I did was clean it with a toothbrush. You can actually take this element out, which I did, and you can just pop it out and slide it back in. And if you've got a can of high-pressure air, you can use that to clean it out as well, but you might want to take the dirt off first with the toothbrush. And putting it back together is just the reverse. Eh, might be a five minute job. Save you $30 on buying another heater. 
and will make it more efficient. Even if you're not sure, if you hold it up to light um, and look through it, you can usually see if they're dirty. These you really can't because of this is in the back, keeping you from having your light go through. So, but the little square ones, you can do that. Now on the square ones, they've got a square ceramic element and they have four tabs on them. And you probably want to get somebody to help you because some of the older ones are brittle. You have to get those four tabs out, pressed out, pulled out, so you can take a screwdriver on the edge of this and pry it up. It's not easy like this one. Um, so be careful with those because you'll bust the, the plastic around them. But uh, two screwdrivers, two people, and you'll be able to get them out. And then once you get them out, you can just blow them out. <clears throat> so it's a quick, easy project. Save you some money, make your heater more efficient. And pretty much works on any of these heaters, so um, give it a try. If you got an old one, you put it up, you bought a new one, hey, it's worth a try. Have a good one. Bye.